Trent. Trent. What did Justin Timberlake, Barack Obama, the Duchess of Cambridge and Chris Hemsworth have in common? They've all cuddled a koala, but our world-renowned national treasure is under threat. So what can we do to save it? Governments are setting aside land and funding research, but there's also a suggestion the 2032 Olympics could help give the marsupial a fighting chance. Is this Australia's most famous export? No, not Chris Hemsworth. The other cute guy. From royals to rock stars, presidents to people who interview presidents, koalas fill the Instagram feeds of some of the world's biggest names. They all seem to treasure these tree dwellers, but what about us Aussies? That one trying to eat the branches. It's trying to eat the branches? Yeah. Here, in the home of the koala, how have we allowed our most recognisable citizens to become endangered? Are they really? I did not realise that. Disappointing, I think, that it's come to that. Koalas were declared vulnerable in 2012. In just 10 short years, their status has deteriorated to endangered, meaning they're considered at high risk of extinction in the wild. Other Aussie animals in this category include numbats, Gouldian finches, Tassie devils and loggerhead turtles, to name only a few. Well, they're certainly already locally extinct in the wild in many Brisbane, around where we are now. They're probably functionally extinct, which means there are so few of them they can't reproduce. So at the moment they're hanging on in some more remote pockets. There are so many people and places like this one doing incredible work to try and help koalas. But what if in the future a sanctuary or a zoo is the only place we can see a koala? It would be damaging for our reputation greatly to lose such an iconic creature. Kwandamooka man Cameron Costello is with the Queensland Tourism Industry Council and the state's Koala Advisory Council. He wants to put the koala at the centre of the world's biggest stage. The Olympics coming to Brisbane in 2032. I think that's things like uh, considering uh, the koala as a, an Olympic mascot. A koala that's First Nations scientist and female that has a 10 year journey that we can all follow. Our wildlife has featured before in Sydney 2000 and at the 2018 Commonwealth Games there was Borobi. When the eyes of the world are going to be upon us, we should be known as the global koala capital of the world and that's our opportunity that I hope we seize um, heading towards 2032. The Tourism Minister says there's plenty of time to make that decision. I'm not going to lock things into uh, uh, where we go. The Ibis uh, might, might play a role. 3,762 days before the Olympics, each one of them critical for the koala. It's hard to say how many are left in the wild. In 2012, Dr Christine Hosking got a bunch of experts together and came up with a figure ranging from as few as 144,000 to as many as 600,000. And that was 10 years ago. Exactly. So it's, it can't be going well. It's got to be going backwards. We say between 40 and 80,000. I personally think it's in the lower order. The scientists won't sign off on that with me, but we know that many habitats in Australia are empty. Will my kids' kids be able to see a koala in the wild? I don't think so, Jess, unless we absolutely step up. As we clear more land for houses, koalas are running out of trees to live in. Climate change, drought, disease and bushfires have also played a devastating role. The state government says it's reviewing its koala conservation strategy to see if any further measures need to be put in place. Well, time for an early look at the weather with Jenny Woodward.